these sections of rustic muddy road are actually fairly easy to make. When one of your pairs of beige trousers beige. has finally had its day, you can snip it up into a road-like shape like this and then squeeze onto the top surface of it a load of brown acrylic mastic. It must be acrylic mastic. Do not use silicon because silicon will not take paint, but uh, acrylic mastic takes paint marvellously well. Uh, I then usually mix in a little bit of cat litter. You can see little stones and, and rough bits in it. Uh, that's uh, the very fine bits of cat litter. And I then spread it around all over the top surface using my finger. I have found no better tool than my finger. And then I leave it for about 20 minutes or so. It's not dry then, but it's a little bit more workable and tacky. I then get lollipop sticks and matches and things and just striate the surface uh, to give it the look as though uh, the traffic has been going along its length rather than just randomly in all directions. Um, and then once it's properly dry, I dry brush with pale colours over the top and then you're done. It generally works better in long lengths uh, rather than uh, short bits like this, but it's easier to show you with a short bit. It's flexible, um, so this can go down into a valley or over a hill or whatever. So if your terrain is not perfectly flat, then your roads can follow the contours of your terrain, which is quite useful. And you can also roll it up uh, for storage, which is pretty handy too. Um, if you wait until just the right moment, uh, you can sculpt in uh, impressions of tank tracks and wheels and so forth. If you've got some uh, model tanks uh, with tracks, you could, uh, you know, something like that, you could use these and press them in to the surface of the of the, uh, of the, the, um, of the mastic. And if it's just, if you just caught it at the right moment, not too wet, not too dry, then it'll leave the marks. Uh, but um, by and large, I just go for sort of general uh, traffic went that way sort of look. The monument to the workers um, I was rather happy with this in that it's sort of a communist and fascist looking. It's pretty simple actually. It's just a block of wood for the core glued onto three thick layers of card and around the outside of the block of wood I've put a load of milliput modelling putty and set into that uh, plastic X Airfix now produced by Daypol railway worker figures. Uh, I then painted them and their background black and dry brushed with bronze paint and hey presto, the people's monument. This crater was pretty quick and easy to make. Uh, I started with a linoleum tile because I just happened to have one and with cork I built up the ring and then textured it all with brown acrylic mastic. Uh, there are some little bits of cat litter in there for stones. Uh, and then with a matchstick I sculpted little striations going outwards from the center suggesting a blast from the middle. And I then wet the end of my finger and then used that to smooth a patch in the middle which I then painted a dark colour with a little lighter colour suggesting some floating scum or something and then I varnished it to make it look like a puddle in the middle of the crater and then I just added some uh, green flock round the edges to uh, show the old surface of the ground before it was all smashed. Of course, a water treatment works. Now this one is so specific to the things I found to make it out of that it might be difficult for others to replicate. Uh, the base of it is a big sheet of foam core. I got this for nothing. It was a sign that was used in a local supermarket that they were throwing out and I said, oh, I'll have that. Um, now I've got four disc-like things. These are actually the inner lids to some uh, cheese that I found in my local supermarket and I thought, oh, I know what I could do with that. Uh, the sprinkler rotating arms, they're just bits of wire glued in and in the centre there's a little blob of uh, milliput modelling putty holding it in place. I've textured the top obviously with my usual mixture of tetrion, uh, wall filler and um, PVA glue and poster paint. Uh, then there's a drinking straw, one of those ones which uh, has a, a, a joint in it so that you can bend it and that goes to this box which is just made out of card. And you can see a little manhole cover there. Uh, when I bought a shelving unit from Ikea, it came covered in these strips of uh, tough ribbon that held it all together. And a little bit of that dry brushed and it looks, well, it looks a bit like a manhole cover to me. So there you go, a water treatment works. Lindy Bash!